Hello, boys and girls. This is 10 life hacks, life hacks, excuse me. <clears throat> this is 10 life hacks to uh, get you ready for summer. All right, all right, you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Let's check the book. Number one. Number one is very interesting. You know, you want to chill the wine in your glass. Well, sometimes you pour the wine and you're, you get to talking and the, and the wine, it just doesn't stay chill, does it? It doesn't. Well, this life hack is for uh, keep your wine chilled. So you grab some grapes, you throw the grapes in the freezer, and instead of putting ice in your wine, you can put frozen grapes. That way, your wine doesn't get watered down with the ice. You are welcome. Number two. Number two is also very interesting. Very interesting is number two. Number two, um, you know, maybe maybe your house doesn't smell all fresh. You know, maybe that your your dorm room doesn't smell all fresh. Um, well, you can tape a dryer sheet over the vents. Over the AC unit, over, over the vent that's coming in the room, and make it, make it laundry fresh. Whatever dryer sheet you have, you have that lavender dryer sheet, you make your house smell all lavendery. I, I guess that's a word, I just threw that out there. Um, so, yes, try that one. It'd be good. All right, number three, number three is uh, very interesting also. Number three is, you know, you're, you're sitting down at your laptop or your, your keyboard computer and, and you're, you're, you're eating the, the, the pizza or you're eating, uh, I don't know, the, the cake or something, uh, you know, you're eating chips you know whatever whatever you're eating on or or there's a lot of cat hair or, or or a dust or something and and it falls down in the crevices of the keyboard you know keyboard when you're doing the keyboard commando thing well this life hack um you know you can use that compressed air can but sometimes you don't want to spend that money for the air compressed can so you can take a, a post-it note, you know, the sticky part. And you can take the sticky part and you can stick it down into the keys and, and, and pull out all that food that you didn't eat. Maybe save it later for a snack. I don't know. That's just, that's just me. Uh, so think about that one. All right, so moving on to number four. Number four is also a good one, too. You know, you're trying to uh, clean up the kitchen or, you know, mop the floor, and you, 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 you usually have to take it to the bathtub or something to fill it up the mop bucket because, you know, it won't fit in the sink or, or whatever the case may be. Well, next time try this uh, you take a water bottle and you cut it off one end 
and uh, you stick it over the faucet and you funnel the water out of the sink into the bucket. Oh, yes, you are welcome. All right, and this brings us to number five. Number five is interesting also. I like number five. Number five, you know, sometimes you want to step in the water and you're like, oh, my sock is wet. Oh, no, I, I don't know. So anyways, so you take some beeswax, you wipe it all over your shoe, you blow dry it off, and bam, waterproof shoes. Don't know if that works, but that's what I read. Let's try it out. All right, number six. Number six, you know you're you're on your phone, you're posting on the Instagram, you're posting on the Facebook, you're out there having fun. Well, guess what? Your phone needs to be charged. But you don't want to you don't want to sit inside and wait on your phone. You want you want your phone. So next time you want it to charge really fast. You just swap it on the airplane mode and it'll charge twice as fast as normal. But remember to switch it back because you won't be able to receive messages or make phone calls. All right, so Number seven. Number seven. Number seven is, uh, oh man, I, I like number seven. You know, you're out there at the beach and uh, you got the sunscreen and, and, you know, you got your stuff in your bag. Well, here lately, there's been a couple of, uh, you know, people getting their bags swiped when they're on the beach. So next time you're at the beach, try this. Try this live hack. Um, you take an empty uh sunscreen bottle there's the word sunscreen bottle you take the empty sunscreen bottle and you uh cut the end off of it and you uh make sure that you get all the sun extra sunscreen out so and you clean it out and you wash it out and you didn't and guess what? You can put your phone in there. You can put your money in there. You can put your keys in there. And just, you know, close it back up. And guess what? Them thieves ain't going to steal the sunscreen. They want your valuables. Not no stupid sunscreen. They want to get burned up. Because they going to hell anyway for dealing. <laughs> so try that. Which brings us to number eight. Hmm, number eight. Number eight, um, you know you're on the elevator and this little kid's up there pushing all the buttons, pushing the butt, put that, uh, uh, uh. I, I, I pushed all the floors and then he jumps off, jump off, jump off. Well, guess what? Try this, I haven't tried it, so y'all let me know. But what I've been told on this life hack is that you push the floor button that's lit up, you push it twice real quick, and it'll turn the light off. And the elevator won't stop on that floor. Number nine. Number nine is very interesting. I like number nine. Number nine is awesome. Number nine is get your barbecue on. You're out there in the summer having fun. You want to throw the barbecue? Well, uh, instead of breaking out a trillion bowls uh, for the for the the barbecue sauce and the mustard and the ketchup and all that stuff, all your side fixings. 
we'll try this one get a muffin tin yeah you heard me right get a muffin tin you got those individual pockets you can put all kinds of goody stuff in there the onions and the tomatoes and the pickles and oh yeah so try that one Alright, and of course, last but not least, we got <clears throat> number 10. Number 10. Whew, starting to sweat a little bit. It's kind of warm today. So, number 10 uh, is very good. I like number 10. You like the coffee? You coffee drinkers, you. I know. Okay, so when you're drinking the iced coffee, check out this hack. Instead of putting the ice cubes in your coffee, mm 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 mm, in the watered down coffee, oh man, mm mm mm, you want to keep it strong, don't you? Keep it strong. Well, you make you a pot of coffee, you pour the hot coffee in the ice cube tray, you put it in the freezer, and guess what? You got coffee ice cubes for your iced coffee. You are welcome. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this day's episode of Crazy Hair TV. You never know what I'm going to say. You never know what I'm going to do. But you love me anyways. So when you're out there having fun this summer, remember the life hacks I taught you today. Try them out. Let me know what you think. I might try a few myself. I haven't tried any of them. Until next time, boys and girls. Let the randomness happen.